Taking your mess, sir. Now this is banter. Don't know why you're so angry. Cause when he calls, I don't answer. We'll talk not even on a hands free. Man, I get blanked up. Got a bad beard, he's Asian. Must have come from Sri Lanka. What? Yeah, oh. Stop that, rock that. Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam Mini One, and I'm coming to you again. Um, this one is uh, this article and video is from ABC News. Uh, police that have arrested uh, ex deputy who did absolutely nothing to mitigate Parkland school massacre. I mean, he basically just didn't do anything. Um, he stayed outside and waited for children to come uh, out the building instead of going in to save them. You know, that's his job. Uh, <laughs> he's the police. But um, this uh, article is by Karma Allen. And before I read the article, I am going to play this video. So... I will come back and read the article once the video is done. Is ABC World News Tonight with David Muir, reporting tonight from London. And good evening from London. We are here for the president's visit tonight before we head to Normandy, France, and we will get to all of that in just a moment here. But we do begin tonight with the breaking headline involving the deadly massacre in Parkland, Florida. We all remember 17 students and teachers were killed. Tonight, there are new charges. A former sheriff's deputy seen on surveillance outside that high school as the rampage was underway inside has now been criminally charged tonight. They say his inaction cost lives. On another surveillance camera, we saw the gunman making his way through that school while that deputy was outside. Here, the results are just in after a 15-month investigation. And ABC's Victor Akendo leads us off from Florida. As the horror was unfolding inside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, students taking cover to escape the gunfire. Outside, the school's resource officer, Broward Sheriff's Deputy Scott Peterson, hearing the shots. Heading toward the building in this golf cart, then taking position outside for 27 minutes, never entering the building. When it was all over, 17 people were dead, another 17 injured. Tonight, that Florida deputy is under arrest, charged with 11 criminal counts, including 7 counts of child neglect. A state review finding Peterson refused to investigate the source of gunshots, retreated while victims were being shot, and directed officers away from the building. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement saying there can be no excuse for his complete inaction and no question that his inaction cost lives. In an interview on the Today Show last year, Peterson said at the time he thought the shots were coming from outside. I hear two to three loud shots. I thought they were gunshots. And I thought they were outside immediately. And the first thing I thought was somebody's shooting us. Tonight, Fred Guttenberg, who lost his daughter Jamie in the shooting, tweeting, Rot in hell, Scott Peterson. You could have saved some of the 17. You could have saved my daughter. You did not, and then you lied about it, and you deserve the misery coming your way. And Victor Akendo is with us live tonight from Florida. And Victor, we know that deputy had already resigned, and today he was taken into custody. That's right, David. He was taken into custody on a $102,000 bond. If convicted on all charges, he's looking at more than 96 years in prison. One of his attorneys tonight saying he is surprised by these criminal charges. Okay, and you just heard that. Uh, uh, and we're going to get into the uh, the commentary and the, uh, the article of it. Uh, it says a Florida, a former Florida sheriff deputy has been arrested on felony charges over his handling of the deadly mass shooting at 
Majority Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland last year. Broward County Sheriff Deputy Scott Peterson, age 56, was terminated from his position and charged with multiple counts of child neglect on Tuesday, and an internal investigation found that he retreated while students were under attack in the February 2018 shooting that left 17 people dead. Internal investigators claim Peterson did absolutely nothing to mitigate the MSD shooting. According to, the, to a statement, he faces several counts of child neglect, three counts of culpable negligence, and one count of perjury. And this is the gentleman right here, Mr. Scott Peterson. Scott Peterson is seen in this updated uh, police ha uh, handout from the Broward County Sheriff's Office. Um, this is him on surveillance camera the day in question when the Parkland shooting occurred. Um, and I'm going to continue with the article. Then Broward County Sheriff Deputy Scott Peterson, who was assigned to the uh, Majority Stoneman Douglas High School during February the 14th, which was on Valentine's Day, um, the shooting is seen in the still image captured from the school surveillance released by the Brown County Sheriff's Office in Florida, March the 15th, 2018. We cannot fulfill our commitment <clears throat> to always protect the security and safety of our Broward County community without doing a thorough assessment of what went wrong that day. Broward County and Sir Sheriff Gregory Tony said in a statement, the Broward County Sheriff and our first responders are now better prepared and trained to respond to an active shooter crisis. The the office announced Peterson's arrest along with the termination of the BSO Sergeant Bryant Miller. It said both officers had neglected their duties in the deadly shooting. Students hold hands in the air as they are evacuated by the police from the majority Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, after a shooter opened fire on the campus on February the 14th, 2018. They have been terminated and will no longer be privileged to serve as law enforcement de uh, deputies for the Broward County Sheriff's Office, the statement said. We have enhanced our active shooter response protocol, increased our training staff, introducing essential equipment, established training partnerships with federal organizations, and are building a regional training center. Peterson's attorney vehemently denied the accusations. We will vigorously defend against these suspicious charges that the lack basis in fact in law. Specifically, Mr. Peterson cannot responsibly be prosecuted because he was not a caregiver, which is defined as a parent, adult, household member, or a person responsible for a child's welfare. Attorney Joseph A. DeRoso said in the statement. And that is the end of the, um, the article. Um, and I just want to say bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. You were there with the express purpose to make sure that the children were safe. You wasn't just there to collect the paycheck. You were there to make sure that the staff and students were stay, were safe and to keep intruders out of the building. 
That's what you were there for. And to say that because they wasn't a parent or a household caregiver or anything like that is just is just like ridiculous to say because you know your job entails that you were there for the express purpose of the protection, safety, and well-being of all the people that were in that building. That was your job. And for you to do that and neglect your privileges, you deserve everything that's coming to you, bro. You know, if you were scared, just say you were scared. I mean, just let, it happens. We're human. People get scared. You know, you didn't want to confront it head on. You know, and now you're charged with felony counts. Child neglect, perjury. You know, I mean, come on, bro. Come on. But, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I think that he should be prosecuted and the other guys should be prosecuted as well. You, ne you neglected to perform your duties as you were, you know, paid to do. And, you know, just the mere fact that, you know, they were children, they were lives, they were men, they were women, they were children, you know, they were somebody's child, you know, somebody's, you know, mother and father, you know, for the adults that got murdered. And you just chose not to even act on it. You know, you said, I think he said that he thought that the shoot, the gun was, uh, the shots were coming from the outside. If the gun and the shooting that you allegedly claimed that you heard and you thought they were coming from the outside, then why wouldn't you go inside the building and secure the building so that just in case if they were outside, you would be able to protect the people that is inside. Your statement does not make sense, sir. But let me know what y'all think. Um, I'm going to keep bringing you news and articles and all these things. So, sound off in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and share. I am Madam81, and until then, I will see you guys next.